So let's pull out the rest of the cards and then I'll go into the reading. Yeah, I, I do feel that, you know, somebody's um, up there has definitely has, you know, wonderful things for you. So I do feel that the news is going to be pretty phenomenal. Yeah, so don't worry. The news will be okay. So, yeah. And I'm going to need one more card. Yep, it's very, very good news. We have good messages coming through. All right. So Capricorns, it is going to be a uh, very good tidings that comes about as a result of whatever it is that you're waiting on, okay? So let's look at the cards here. I, I do feel it is more finance related or it is more project related. So let's look at the past position first. We do have the three of coins and the three of coins is the card about um, expanding your craft. It's a card about expanding your knowledge base, collaborating with other people, getting inputs from other people. Very often this can be like a work training situation where there might be performance evaluations or even, you know, for those of you who are thinking about school, this is pretty much the time where a lot of people are applying for school. So I do feel that it is, you know, some type of expansive opportunity, whether it's in uh, work, in school, or it's in something that is going to expand your knowledge base, okay? So these are, um, you have been working very, very diligently, honing your skills, learning, expanding your craft, and you're collaborating with a lot of people in a very, very fruitful way. So you're laying like the very solid foundation for your future, and you're expanding upon it. And I feel that for a lot of you, there might be some kind of evaluation, whether, you know, if it's an interview or whether it's a um, job situation, like a job training, and you're kind of hired, you're, you're kind of like hired for um, a probationary period. So you're kind of like in suspension, learning the ropes and trying to do things to the best of your capabilities and trying to retain information. So in the present situation, we have the Queen of Cups. And I do feel this is your energy. For a lot of you, this is the energy where you are very emotionally, emotionally tied in with a certain outcome. And I do sense that for a lot of you, there is something that you have your heart set on. And, you know, if you look at this card, it is a really big bowl. And it is something that um, you, it's kind of like putting all your eggs in one basket at this point, And you are very emotionally invested in the outcome. What is crossing you is the lovers. And the lovers is about decisions, okay? Um, I do get, I'm going to back go back to the romance aspect. But in terms of the outcome position, I do feel it is more finance work related. So I'm going to take that angle first before I talk about the romantic aspect of this. So the lovers is about choices. So I do feel whatever news you're waiting on, there are going to be multiple options. So I do feel while you are, you know, putting your eggs in one basket, you are branching out. You are potentially applying for three jobs, for example, applying for three schools, applying for grants, loans, some type of dealing in which somebody is appraising you, assessing you to see whether or not you meet the requirements. And then you're trying to... You're hedging your bets by placing many options, but I feel like, you know, with everything in life, we have options, but there is one thing that we are very emotionally invested in, and I feel like that's the case right here. And what seems to be um, one of the challenge is that there are options. There are many, many options for you to choose from, okay? When it comes to uh, work, there are options. When it comes to love, there are options as well. And when it comes to love in specifically, I do feel we have here the King of Cups crowning this reading. And the King of Cups is uh, showing up as a water sign. So this can be, you know, specifically in love or romance. This can be a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who is very emotionally stable. They are capable of great sacrifices, great love, great devotion, and they're somewhat of a, of a romantic, okay? But the king energy brings with it the wisdom and the, I guess, the life experiences where he knows what he is about and he doesn't need a partner to fulfill him, okay? And he has a lot of love, uh, nurturing, affection, and he has the capabilities to be a very, very good romantic partner 
he or she, all right? And the queen and the king are both showing up. So I definitely feel that um, there is a potentially, you know, meeting somebody that is your emotional match, okay? Somebody that um, checks off the, that list of yours and somebody that is actually very suitable for you. When the king and the queen both show, both show up, I do feel it is kind of like, especially in the cup suit, it is a, um, a very, very good emotional match, okay? And at the same time, this also indicates to me if there is a job that you just recently applied for, um, I feel that the, the job itself, the nature of the job, you feel as if it's the perfect fit for you. And the people around you who are potentially interviewing you or assessing your skills, they feel that you're the perfect candidate for the job. So in work, romance, school, whatever it is that you're applying for, it is a perfect match, okay? What's at the foundation here is the death card. And the death card indicates to me, you know, transition, major, major changes and things that are, it's the major arcana. So it does indicate the energy circulating around you that is going to herald in great sweeping changes for the rest of your life, okay? And I do feel as the foundation, when it's in the reverse position, it definitely opens up the portal for people from our past to potentially cycle in. It also opens the portal for um, us to really reassess what it is that we want to move forward with, because I do feel that out of all these options, um, I do sense that for a lot of you, you're going through a situation where if you have recently, like in the last year, worked really hard in order to achieve something and you're so emotionally invested in it and you're ending up in a place where you are very worried um, you know, in case you get rejected, in case it doesn't fall through, in case, you know, such and such happens. And um, I do feel that you're kind of uh, playing, you're very emotionally invested, but you're branching out, you're hedging your bets, you, you're putting on or applying for more options, mainly because you don't want to feel as if, you know, what if the one thing that I really want doesn't fall through? And so I I feel like this energy of like, you know, trying to mitigate the effects of rejection, trying to mitigate the effects of disappointment is what you're you're really having a hard time dealing with. So that's why at the beginning I felt like I felt like you were waiting and and you're keeping yourself in a holding pattern. And I do sense that um, a lot of it is fear based. A lot of it is just mental energy thinking about, you know, worst case scenario and um, having so much emotional investment and having so much like joy in your heart at the possibilities that your life will become as a result of getting the news that you want to hear. You feel like it is going to drastically change your life in some way. So there is a little bit of fear. There is a lot of hope in this spread. And I'm sensing there is a lot of fear associated with it, too, because you know that whatever the result is, your life is not going to be the same afterwards. And it's heading in a really positive direction, actually. So whatever it is you're waiting on, Capricorns, it is going to pan out beautifully. I have some amazing cards coming up, okay? So in terms of the advice here, we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, I'm going to say this first. This is more of a channeled message than a, you know, um, reading the cards. But the universe is urging you to think positively, okay? So this is not the time for you to ruminate. This is not the time for you to think about the past, past disappointments, past hurts. This is a time for you to get a do-over where you are going to sail away from all of your problems, where you are going to expand your physical, mental, intellectual, philosophical horizons. So the universe is urging you think positively so that you can attract the positive things in your life. So that's the first thing, because with the nine of swords, it indicates a lot of fears, anxieties, and these anxieties are all in our heads. And when we're stuck in that mental space, we are so preoccupied with the outcome that we can't really pick ourselves up off the couch, for example, and do other things in order to, you know, distract ourselves or in order to be more productive. So I feel like a lot of you are just stuck, like you're, you're just cemented 
to you know you're wherever you are and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and it's a really frustrating place to be but it's worsened because you're thinking about the worst case scenarios okay so the universe is urging you to let the mental energy go and try to manifest the positive which is you know thinking about you know it's not enough just to want something it's you know closing your eyes and envisioning what will I do once I have that thing, that person, that job, that perfect loan, you know, that um, uh, acceptance to whatever school that you want to apply for. So I do feel that for a lot of you, you have to operate as if you already got it. And that is also a very good way to manifest positive things into your life. And whatever you think, it shall materialize in the physical world. So your your power of manifestation is actually very strong at this point. So don't cycle through worst case scenarios and try to think very positively about this situation, okay? I feel that there might have been something that happened around the full moon, give or take, you know, one or two days. So the full, excuse me, it's the new moon. So um, it's the new moon on the 8th. Something might have happened, you know, uh, a few days prior to that or a few days after that because I'm getting the image of the moon here and I feel like it's something that you were hoping for praying for and it's like one you know one of those opportunities of a lifetime and you're sailing away from all your previous troubles and you're starting or you feel that the outcome is going to let you start a new phase in your life now what is external to your environment is we have the Emperor and the Emperor Whenever I see this card in this situation, I'm going to say that it is divine protection, okay? Divine blessings and divine protection. First of all, I want to say that it is divine blessing, mainly because going back to what I mentioned about something being a perfect match, I feel it is a perfect emotional match. So for example, for some reason you, cross, uh, you came across like a job listing and you apply for it. And you're thinking to yourself, I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, I, I feel like I have a really strong resonance or a really strong rapport with the people who interviewed me. And I feel like, you know, and, and for some reason, like during the interview process, whoever was interviewing you, you feel like there were synchronicities that made you feel as if the job was meant for you, as if you, it was like something that was plopped down on your path because it was meant for you so that's why I feel as if there is very strong divine protection something got the situation rolling along some some forces that is beyond us got the situation rolling along so that you can come you, you both can like cross paths or you can encounter this situation or this opportunity and you can recognize that it is an opportunity that is meant for you. Additionally, if you have recently gone on an interview, if you have recently, you know, done any type of situ any if you were in a situation where you had to prove yourself, the authority figure that you had to prove yourself to is looking at you very, very favorably. So you have some very strong um, admiration and also, you know, just some... Um, you have some good energies, good vibes about you where the person in charge feels that you would be perfect. Now, in terms of your hopes and fears, we have the Four of Cups. So I feel as if a lot of you have options and you have one thing that you want above all the others. And you're thinking to yourself already, you're thinking to yourself, OK, so if the first choice doesn't fall through, what am I going to do with the others? It's OK to think like that because you're an earth sign and you're very, very realistic. But I do sense as well that you want to think and act as if you have already landed your first choice. And some people might say it's not practical, but I, I do sense that this is something that you need to do. Own it and, you know, act as if it's already in the works for you. OK, so in terms of the outcome, we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands, once again, this is uh, usually a messenger. This is getting very, very good news. This is delivery of messages. This is also a, in your environment, a fire sign, possibly a uh, Leo Sagittarius or an Aries. So this is somebody bringing good news. This is basically just a messenger bringing very, very positive, exciting news about work endeavors, about projects, about, you know, passion as well. 
or it exhibits the energy of somebody with a very passionate way to live life who is bringing a lot of um, a lot of fun excitement into your life and the other outcome we have is the eight of swords which is you know this period of suspension this is the place where you feel very stuck because you're waiting on decisions and the decisions it's a sword energy you're an earth sign so I feel like the decisions are coming in from your environment and you're waiting and that's why you know you're keeping yourself in a holding pattern in the reverse position it is going to alleviate and I do feel a lot of you are going to get very positive news we also have the page of coins and this can be another earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn or it can be your energy in which you are getting um, some type of new work situation work project a loan coming through I don't feel it's a financial windfall this is usually something that you have to work for very diligently in order to receive but I do feel the external environment the whoever it is around you a supervisor possibly is looking upon you very favorably so you are going to get approval from the people that are in a position to make the decisions okay so things are looking very very positive um, Capricorns so once again what I do feel is there's going to be a lot of movement there's a lot of travel possibly a lot of um, I feel like this is not land travel this is potentially you know um, flying somewhere flying back and forth <clears throat> literally flying back and forth and I do feel you might be under a little bit of stress honestly because you know interviews are never fun but um, don't take it personally I do sense that you know the nine of swords does indicate a lot of questions being kind of like rapid fire at us and we have to think on our toes so I'm going to say that um, it is important for you to think on your toes. It is important you, for you to be very quick with responses. And it is really important for you to answer questions very directly. I think it would behoove you to answer questions from the heart. Because I feel like the people in your environment, there's a lot of water energy. So they want to know your commitment. They want to know the reasons why you are emotionally invested on a certain outcome and they also want to know the the real you so this isn't one of those impersonal encounter it's something that you have some specific skills you have some uh, specific um, I guess like emotional investment in whatever the if it's a work situation a school or if it's like a romantic partner they want to see more of your emotional side they, they want to see they, they want to see your emotional side so it would be really good for you to open up your heart and you know speak from the heart okay and I do feel that is going to go uh, further than just you know hyping up your accomplishments hyping up your GPA hyping up all the um, all the work that you've done in the past it's more about having a heart connection with another person and I feel like that might be a little bit difficult for uh, Capricorns to do in in more of a bureaucratic you know uh, professional setting it's difficult for you in that regards but I do sense that whatever it is speak from the heart it is going to streamline you a lot further I also want to say I feel that short <clears throat> concise and direct answers would be a lot more favorable external to you is a lot of fire energy so you have fire and water so I feel that they they are very intuitive but they're also a little bit impatient but they are very intuitive so you have the best of both worlds so it would be in your best interest to you know try to be as concise with your answers as you can try not to be too long-winded even though when it comes to the emotional front as long as you speak from the heart okay from the heart to the throat I feel that things will be okay so it is going to be a very very phenomenal rest of the month for you uh, Capricorns whatever it is that you're waiting on it is going to bring very positive news you are going to receive very very positive news for those of you who are in relationships I do feel some deepening of relationships some conversations coming through that will um, allow you and your partner to re-engage with one another if you have been you know very very busy 
and um, I feel like this is a good month for you both to reconnect as well okay for those of you who are single and you know out looking we have water signs fire signs as potentially earth signs but we do have a lot of dynamic characters and this is the first time where all the court cards are like in the upright position so everybody that you're dealing with for the rest of this month they're on the you know uh they're on the straight and narrow and they're very very interested in getting to know you and i feel that that it would um be in your best interest you have many options it would be in your best interest to um let your emotions out, find an outlet for it, and speak from the heart, okay? So the advice here is speak from the heart. I feel that for a lot of you, there might be some um, visits. I feel that, <clears throat> I feel that, you know, once again, there is potentially a friend or a, a, a friend from the past, someone you haven't seen in a while, or potentially an ex coming back in and I feel that they're they're doing the chase I, I feel like greatly this is about the chase you know um, possibly a water sign or a fire sign chasing after you and at this point you're no longer interested so I definitely feel if you're not interested you can still be friends but I, I feel that there is a chase associated with this okay 